Coming up on this episode of Press This, we talk about the social ready theme framework from the guys at Woo Themes, Canvas. And then we'll take a look at two bare bones theme frameworks that's even more blank than your Canvas, Dan. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, it's always a pleasure to see you. This is the show where we take awesome WordPress stuff, <laughs> themes, plugin, news, etc., and smash them together, put them head to head, talk about them, review them, serve them up to you uh, so you can learn a little bit too. We want to hit a thousand subscribers, folks. We want to be able to do live versions of this show, completely candid. You know, well, not candid. It's going to be amazing. Completely, really cool. So, hopefully, you guys can help us out. Um, Silicomstudio.com slash subscribe, or of course, for that particular purpose, subscribe right on our YouTube page. We'd hit, appreciate it. Yes, hit the old subscribe button in YouTube. We want to get to a thousand. Let's continue to talk about WordPress frameworks. Um, today, we're looking at Canvas by Woo Themes. Mm -hmm. And then looking at two others that are yeah. sort of similar uh, in HTML5 reset theme mm -hmm. and the bones theme, yeah. both very popular yeah. um, in the hardcore purist crowd. Yeah, we, we wanted to, we were talking a lot about very visual or very, very popular frameworks. And we wanted to kind of go down to one that's a little bit more minimalist, more developer oriented, where you're just taking something that just makes it a little bit easier to get in there and just jump right into the WordPress yes. system. First one, Canvas by Woo Themes, mm -hmm. 70 bucks. Yeah. Um, it's part of Woo Themes. We yeah. talk about this all the time. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about them all the time. And <laughs> we talk about all the time. It's the ecosystem that you're in already currently working right. in or planning to invest mm -hmm. into. Mm -hmm. um, this is just another one of the cogs in the wheel of Woo Themes and WooCommerce. Pretty blank canvas uh, mm -hmm. is basically what the point of the name is. Yeah. Um, you know, it's responsive, it's clean, it's open. Um, and it comes packed with, you know, a hundred different options to, right. to start changing the design yeah. um, of the site. Very visual design, mm -hmm. very visual with the text and, and you know, um, being able to just basically say, okay, I want the text to be this font type and this mm -hmm. and right within, right within the back and have it pop up for you. Um, yeah. So what, what they're saying with this is start with a blank canvas mm -hmm. and install one of our slider plugins, mm -hmm. our e-commerce plugin, right. and any of our plugins are going to work. A okay with this starter theme, right? And then you can go in and say, you know what? I want to change the font to be a different font, or right. a different size, or a different color, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right. Um, and it's uh, uh, with all those options, it's allowing you to do that. Mm -hmm. What it does not do, as we, um, <laughs> you know, just have to point out, are the frameworks that are out there. There are some frameworks that are really advanced, like Studio Press. Right. There are purists out there who know, like WordPress, hardcore WordPress people, are like, here's a framework. Number one, I don't use a framework. I'm going to start with my own code, right? Or I'm just going to use WordPress. Or I'm going to use HTML5 reset. Right. But I digress. <laughs> right. Um, so Canvas doesn't have all that extra um, coding framework things that you might find right. and enjoy in Studio Press. Right. It doesn't have a GUI interface like Headway themes where you can drag and drop stuff. Right. It is a blank canvas right. for the Woo uh, ecosystem. Right. It's got visual representations of like what your layout's going to look like and whatnot, but it's, I mean, it's all fairly obvious. If I want one with a main content spot and a right sidebar, or from where you're looking like that, uh, it is uh, not difficult to visualize what that would look like. Right. You know, as opposed to just selecting it on a, on a you know, on a column and a scroll down menu. Right. Um, so then when you want to start to customize it, then you've got the options. Like I said, you get the options. You go and you start changing those around. Um, but I'm sure if you just jumped into the back end and started working with style, uh, the style sheets mm -hmm. and, you know, the, yeah. the, the PHP functions mm -hmm. of the theme, uh, you know, then I'm sure you can start to build even more on top of that. Right. And they do provide you with some good stuff. Speaking of kind of the visual side yeah. of things, like they, without even having to develop those CSS buttons, they have short codes available to you, right? Mm -hmm. Built into the theme framework. So you have some nice attractive looking buttons. Yep. Um, they have uh, really good social uh, buttons as well. They they come packed with as well, so that you can sort of kind of make a very clean. The websites in general look very clean. Mm -hmm. Your typical white, really really crisp text, um, sort of minimalistic approach to yeah. web design. And and I guess if you're looking at the if you're looking at this framework and maybe some of the others that we've mentioned, and we're gonna wrap them all up and and, and choose the different ones that mm -hmm. fit different yep. different areas. Mm -hmm. um, but some people don't want 
some purist high hardcore you right. know theme framework like right. a studio press right. they might just want something that starts out starts them out really relatively fast and mm -hmm. they can do a little bit of changes a little bit of customization but they don't need everything so it's right. great that it comes with great social buttons it does yeah some of the wordpress developers out there are probably like oh boy you just add your own buttons well some people don't want to do that yeah some people right? just you know? pop it right in they just go. want to go mm -hmm. um and i think canvas is a great solution for that if you're in uh, the Woo environment. One thing, already. one more thing I want to talk about. I don't know if we've mentioned it before. Is we always talk about support here. That's a big, huge thing, big, huge deal. Um, we've all had our share, share of bad support and good support, I'm sure. So uh, Canvas provides you with free uh, one year support, and then there's thirty dollars for lifetime support with with the theme framework. Did we talk about that? Or am I we did not. Good. Okay. Cool. I'm glad I covered. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it does cost money for that extra support, but they do start you off once you buy that plugin with some support to begin with. Awesome. So let's talk about two other ones that aren't probably as well known in the more common crowd of right. WordPress. Um, although maybe they are, I've just never heard anybody really talking about them in my circles. Mm. Uh, Bones from Themeble, themeble.com, uh, and HTML5 Reset from HTML5Reset.org. So these are bare bones. Very bare bones. Uh, pun, pun definitely intended. Pun intended, just like there was a pun intended for a canvas. Yeah, yeah. These are themes that are bare bones, m super minimalistic. Like they don't even look like anything when you mm -hmm. install them. You just yeah. see text. Yeah. Um, but the point of this yeah. is you're going to use this to start your next theme. Mm -hmm. um, like literally handcrafting right. every piece. Right. All the styling, all the HTML, all the CSS. Mm -hmm. So if you're somebody out there who says, hey, I want a really simple theme to start my new site with, and I don't know HTML, CSS, do not pick these. Yeah. Right? This because, is definitely, yeah. Because you're not going to be able to know what to do with them. You're going to install them, and they're just going to look like your site's broken. Right. This is for somebody who wants, uh, you know, uniform development. Right. You know, the same... Um, style sheets, the same foundation of code, the same Java mm -hmm. or jQuery stuff um, you, in HTML5. You want all this stuff and you're rapidly deploying the next theme and the next theme and you're building on top of these. Right. That's why you want to pick mm -hmm. this stuff. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's a very good, interesting contrast to yes. see something like Woo Canvas, right. which is something like this, except yeah. it has a heck oh, of a lot more styling mm -hmm. when you compare the, these three. And your overall outcome isn't necessarily as customizable as you'd like may like it to be. Right, right. Uh, so these are two great themes. Again, if you're gonna, I could watch this Themeble. Yeah, bones you, guide. I I tell you guys, go on Themeble or Themeble.com and just watch the bones video. <laughs> I could watch it over and over again. That's yeah, pretty awesome. Reminds me of Grand Fandango from yeah. back in the day. Um, and even on the even on the homepage, bones is not in red a framework. Right. Uh, frameworks are great, but sometimes they make things more complicated than they need to be. Bones is a bare and minimal, uh, minimalistic as possible. It means to be, it's meant to be used as a per project template. This means no child themes. Hooray. Hooray. You know, and, and there are people out there that say, oh no, that's not the right way to do it. You want to use a framework. You want to mm -hmm. use a child theme. Right. This is the other side of the coin is this is like super fast. Let's start a theme. Let's go because you're not going to make a child theme from this. Right. This is for the developer. Right. Right. And for, the, for that, for those, and they're both free. Uh, I don't know if you mentioned that, which I mean, kind of makes sense is following sort of that, following that same sort of like open source WordPress path mm -hmm. that that's known for mm -hmm. uh, a free open source way to get a, just a nice, you know, responsive in case of bones at least, mm -hmm. but really, really easy to work with. Yep. And it's got a great following on GitHub. Um, so definitely check those out if you are in that uh, hardcore developer front end development crowd. We'll provide the links for you down below we will uh so that that's there there you have it uh canvas from woo themes uh bones and html5 reset from uh the elite uh developers and coders out there um check them out we're probably going to do a wrap up on yeah. the next episode yeah. uh, of where we think all these frameworks fit right. picking the best frameworks sure uh so if you have any last minute entries go ahead and shoot them over mm -hmm. to us we've got a couple some of them we looked at we're like uh oh, you know there's not really many either not many downloads or um, they didn't just look mature enough to kind of review. Right, and we're going to talk about all that. We'll have blog posts up, I'm sure, for you as well. Awesome. So again, we want to hit over 1,000 subscribers. If you like what we're doing here, let us know. If you want to see something else on the show, maybe you want to hear about, I don't know, some more design stuff or less plug-in stuff, more theme stuff, mm -hmm. uh, You know, let us know. We want to hit 1,000 so that we can actually do some live shows uh, and check yes. us out at slocumstudio.com. Join the mailing list, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys.